Okay, in today's video we're having a look at my brand new product called Y-LED-DC. This is the DC version, uh, there is an AC version as well. Uh, Prisma, we're just going to concentrate on the DC version. So this is a design I purchased off, off um, VK6RK. Uh, he um, made these and designed the whole thing up and uh, then didn't want to continue production so I purchased it off him. One of the last things he did was actually install a terminal block which makes this thing uh, when it's installed no soldering necessary. Um, so yeah, um, we'll just do a quick run through of what uh, this has happened with this PCB. So basically um, when I purchased it off him we uh, it was sent off to my PC board manufacturer. We tweaked the design a little bit and uh, with all new files so we can actually get these reproduced really easily. So basically um, we, it uses uh, three uh, square LEDs, as you can see they're very skinny. These actually rest up hard against the actual um, the uh, the lens uh, and focus uh, a fair bit of the well, quite a bit of the actual light into the lens um, instead of being uh, all light just ref reflecting everywhere on the, on the whole thing so yeah so it can also have uh, you might notice there's actually other um, points on here it can have up to five LEDs on it if if needed be but I only supplying it with the three at the present moment and they just sold a link in here and just link them out and link them in so there's the back of the design and it was actually designed with having service now components and bits and pieces he did a few quite a few things with this so yeah so one other feature of this one it actually has a brightness um, trim pot on the back um, so there we go um, and this cutaway is to go past the um, the switch that sits in here so you're not actually uh, obstructing or touching or bending it around the little PCB for the start switch there so so yeah that's the basic run through of this so I'm going to show you how to install it into a uh, DXC controller this um, design will do the DXA, DXC and SA controllers which are all DC to the bulb uh, up in the top left hand corner here so let's um, get stuck into it okay first thing you need to do we're going to need first off you need a number two Phillips head screwdriver, a texter, black preferably or depending on which colour you want to use, and then a little baby Phillips head driver to do up the um, screws and come a lot, an adjuster if you need to adjust the brightness, and a pair of side cutters. Um, all good. Let's get started. Okay, first thing you need to do is turn sideways and we remove the two screws on the back corners of the actual housing. Okay. Remove those. And then flip him upside down. And then remove the four feet. Without losing the screws. Magnetic screwdrivers are good sometimes, but sometimes they're not. Okay, at this point we can actually remove the four screws that hold the front panel on as well. Now you might notice these are uh, just uh, are silver in colour, these ones. So put them back where they came from. Alrighty, there's those done. So now gently turn them back over again. Lift up slightly, grab your fingers underneath and at the back and just flex it out a little bit like this and slide it back and just take the whole thing straight off and put him aside. Now we can rotate him around and all we need to do now is first thing we need to do, oops, don't do that, we need to remove this, oh we've actually got to mark this, that's what we do first. Uh, since this is DC we need to mark um, the wires going to the um, bulb uh, to indicate which one is negative because LEDs do not like having negative on positive ones, they won't work. So basically the, um, the wire next to the purple, which you can see this one just there, it's a grey wire. The outside wire is plus volts and the wire next to it next to the purple is negative so I normally just mark 
the wire and mark the casing as well just to make sure it's covered so this is um, that just marks the negative so for now and then we lift that terminal block stretch grab the wires and pull it out we also have to remove this one down here because this actually goes to the front panel all the rest can stay so what we need to do now is we undo these countersunk screws up the top now these are threaded and they're countersunk so they have to go back in the same position again Put those there so then we can then slide the whole front forward and lay him over slightly and you can turn him around if you want like this so you can actually see what's going on so that wire will come up over there for the power switch so the only model is this wire was so short for the power switch uh, yeah, it was a bit of a pain it's on the point so, okay so there we go so now I'll just flip this up a little bit what we need to do is we need to get the wiring out of the road so we're going to remove uh, the two screws that actually hold this front panel on so the screw there and a screw there and then you can see the little PCB that we go, go around with the other board with the new replacement uh, wire lead board so what we'll do is we'll remove these two screws laying back down again remove the screws keep them aside because they are longer than the other screws so we'll keep them aside to put them spacely straight back in again so grab the wire lead and basically this has to sit up hard against the lens so you just drop him in put him hard against the lens snap him into place it's all he's made this a nice tight fit and then you put your two screws back in again and the other one like that okay now the two wires at the back corner as you can probably see just cut them off wherever doesn't really matter just cut them off one two and make sure you grab the black wire or black marked wire and remark it again up the up the other end not right at the end say about 10 mil in so we know which one is negative okay right, on there. Okay, okay. now we get our strippers I could use those wire strippers, but I like to using these these ones, but not a problem. Forgot to bring them over. So just these easy strippers. So just twist that. You can actually um, tin these this wire here if you wanted to. It's not necessary, but you can do it. For now, I'm just going to put this together as is. So now, now basically, it's probably better to spin this around so we can see what's going on. power leads are always in the road so we come around this side so there we are there's our the two holes for the thing we grab our little jewelers Phillips head screwdriver just um, back these out a little bit now as you might notice there's a, a minus marking there and a plus marking there um, what I'll probably be doing in the future I'll probably be pre-marking this one and I'll put a black so I use the texture again just color in that there so we know which one is actually physically negative all right so basically what we need to do now is put the wires in and screw them up see what I'm doing basically I think screw him up and we put the plus in and screw him up there we go wires are in so 
we're all ready to um, move forward. Okay, so what we need to do now is stand him back up again. Like this. And we lift up the chassis and then set it on top of the black plastic at the bottom of the base. Swing him around, put the wires down in between here. And that back over there without crimping the wire. Okay, okay. At this point it'd be nice to keep everything together. We grab the countersunk screws so this all doesn't want to fall around everywhere. We'll put those back in again first off. So we've got a bit of control over this thing. On the other one, there he is. So at that point we can actually put our side socket back in again, cable socket. We can plug in, uh, it's got a hook down here somewhere, there we go, that's better. Plug him back in again, like that, okay, okay, all good. We can then do a quick flip over. We'll put in the three front panel screws. And the other one. And the last one. Power cable is always in the blasted road. Okay. At this point, we can turn him back over again. Just have a quick look, and then we actually look, have a look in through here. We get the light in the right direction. If you want to adjust it, you just use your screwdriver straight into the actual flat, a little bit flat one, and you just go in and adjust it up. I've set this at, um, there's a little number six on, on the scale in the thing there, so I've just set them at that. Uh, that's around about 8 volts or uh, 2.8 volts, I think it is. So basically once this is to there and um, everything seems to be okay and everything's plugged back in, at this point we can actually power him up. So we plug him in some power. Right. Now, I've got a lot of light going on around here so it may not be able to see it coming coming on and off, but we'll give it a go. So, so basically if I just get the light shining. So there's our illuminated. I'll turn him off again. You see, it's yeah. So that we can probably that could probably could be adjusted a bit, but I can't really tell with this much light I've got around here for doing the videos. Uh, but not a problem. So we it's proved it's working. So then uh, we undo him again, get this power lead out of the, out of the road, and we can actually. Of course, you can always adjust your brightness at that, at, at that point to get this back on. Just flex the, the cover over the back, slide him on. Like that. Do the two back screws. When it wants to go. Like that. And we do the other one. So all in all it's a fairly quick um, install. Not really any soldering necessary. You can solder the wires if you wanted to. So put our four feet back on again. Line up. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, that one went flying. Oh. Magnetic screwdrivers. I'll just have to pretend the other leg's gone on because now I've got a missing screw. I have to go find that. So put your screws back in again, your feet, and your screws. Just have to push the casing back into position. And I'll have to um, find that screw. 
screw that one back on there. But not a problem. Uh, there we go. Um, I know I saw where the screw went, but not a problem. Um, yeah, that is it. So basically, that is a quick look at the um, Y lead. Pull this up um, for a uh, DXC controller. As I said before, this will do the DXC, the DXA, and the SA, which are all DC um, uh, drive to the bulb in the top core, which was. Now it's not. So there we go. There's a, a quick look at the the Y lead and um, I shall be doing another video shortly for the AC versions and uh, that has not quite finished yet so um, a few upgrades I made on it so there you go um, all done um, hope you enjoy no worries catch you later have a good one bye